Friends, welcome back to the Spruce Stomper YouTube channel. It's been too long. This, my friends, is a seven foot chainsaw bar. Let's talk about it. Ah, some things never change around. Ah, get out of the dang flower beds. And in case you guys thought I was cheating on you, nope, log deck's just the same. Wasn't having any fun without you, nor did I win the lottery. But I'll tell you what, we did scrape together enough uh, money. Got my very own boathouse. That's pretty fancy. Nice, so what have we been up to? Not just goofing off. I didn't think you'd think that's what I was doing, but uh, above me here, is gonna be a web address that uh, most of the folks that appreciate the content we put out are probably gonna to wanna to have a peek at because I'll tell you, when a plan and a dream and an opportunity and these things all bundle up into one nice tidy package, I mean, I mean Spruce Dropper Luck couldn't be any better. So uh, let's chit chat about it, what we got going on here, why you haven't seen in the shop, what we've been working on, why no videos, all these kind of things and get back in to what I love to do, making content and now providing tools to find folks. Well, it doesn't look like anybody's dealt with the slab pile either. If you watch the YouTube short, my uh, RV doesn't have an air conditioner on it anymore. <sighs> because, well, we're men of action. When something doesn't fit, we're gonna make it fit. So let me tell you a little bit of a tale so this all makes a bit more sense and I wanna thank you first and foremost for sticking with us. Well, we left you in hiatus with no content, no explanation and no direction other than the occasional YouTube short, which appreciated by some and ruffles the feathers of others because I share the same opinion. YouTube shorts thrown in the mix of long content, perfect, only YouTube shorts. <sighs> Seems a bit lazy, unfortunately. So we are always on the hunt for opportunity and what we came across through our construction business, because you never know who you're gonna meet, was the opportunity to get on board with a absolutely wonderful business that had been successfully ran for 30 years. Can you imagine 30 years of somebody doing something, dedicating their life to a business to supply folks that rely on some of the stuff that we have here. So I thought, man, that's, that sounds good to me. And if you're familiar with the channel for a long period of time, mill and wood, chainsaws, construction, carpentry, these are all things that I very much enjoy in life. Oh, and in case you're curious, chainsaw bar, chainsaw bar, chainsaw bar, chainsaw bar, chainsaw bar, you get the picture here. Logbuildingtools.ca has been around since you were allowed to put a web page on the internet. So we're launching her into modern day. I have met absolutely the best people that you can imagine that are log home builders, timber framers, guys that build bridge decks, guys that chainsaw mill in the forest, mountain bikers. Mountain bikers love to chainsaw mill. I mean, every walk of life, but what it comes right down to is the folks that are into building stuff out of material that comes from the forest, running chainsaws, know what a PV and a can hook looks like, salt of the earth, uh, and would be willing to help you out. So we're happy to help them out with keeping a supply of tools that fits their needs. So that's kind of where we're at. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more here. I love being in here. I love being in here. Canon Super Bars, the finest chainsaw bars 
on the face of the planet. And, and I'm proud to say this, made in Canada. There's not a lot of products that people can say are actually made in the country they live in, especially Canada. A lot of things farmed out. So I'll tell you, when you have a chance to be behind something that's manufactured quality and has stand, stood the test of time for a lot, we'll get into that more. That's a whole video in itself, the history of Canon uh, chainsaw bars. But, uh, well, well, from, from our humble beginnings, uh, the old Spruce Stomper and his team are the largest uh, retailer, online retailer of Canon chainsaw bars in the country. So it's pretty fun. I'll tell you what else I've developed a real passion for. Cardboard boxes, shipping receiving game. Well, that's the real deal. So the reason you haven't seen us for so long, as you can imagine, it was quite an endeavor. We've actually, uh, we've been working on this since uh, last summer. The, uh, the, the, the conversations, the back and forth, a lot of, lot of in-betweens and details. Um, so we were then very happy to finally fully take over uh, the first of March of this year. So uh, we've been at it. We've been at her for a stretch now. We're coming in back into the winter months, which is is kind of neat. A 1,000, 6,000 Japanese water stone. Isn't that nice? 1,000, 6,000 Japanese water stone. Look at that. Made in Japan. The real deal here, folks. We're not, uh, this isn't, uh, this isn't uh, stuff you're just gonna find off the shelf uh, anywhere at the hardware store. We got, uh, of course, special sanding discs here. These are absolutely Cadillac, and I'm gonna get more into this. I also don't want you guys to feel like you're gonna get alienated with, uh, hey, you know, like, yeah, this is a business and we're selling stuff. They've got a real passion for these tools. And I just wanna share the content of uh, the Spruce Stomper channel in the same fashion that we were doing before. Construction business still lives. Uh, that, that, that too. Uh, maybe if I can dig up a couple picks, I'll throw them in right, uh, right here. But uh, the projects, it's not that they weren't good, they were, how do I say? It, it just weren't, it just wasn't a filming possibility. I'm packing, uh, you know, guys packing two phones, uh, looking after two different outfits and swinging the hammer at the same time. A camera just wasn't in the cards, but we did do some interesting stuff, uh, a repair job, and I think I have some photos of that. A thousand, a thousand structural screws four inch, six inch, and eight inch. Uh, I just happened to know a guy that has a couple of screws, so that worked out pretty decently. Um, to fix what I can only describe as an honest mistake, uh, a couple of old boys started in on building what I can only describe as a pole barn over top of another building, and uh, it just, it got condemned. That's the only way to say that, is it got condemned and it probably should have. Uh, it's fairly unsafe portions of it. So anyways, Spruce Stomper to the rescue. A fella called us in. We're happy to help, of course. So we did that. I wasn't too flashy. Uh, a lot of concrete forming this fall. Did a, quite a bit of concrete forming work and stuff like that. But it was just, I mean, to, to the, to, under the gun. Like we were just hammering through. And I still have about two or three more projects left to go. It's already winter, basically. It's cold, it's wet, it's snowed once already. So uh, to have something else to do in the building here is good. But my point is uh, the intention is to share uh, just the same Spruce Stomper content we were before. <sighs> but now we're ripe with opportunity to do it with some really cool tools. So after all the goings on was done, these are kind of fun. We'll get into all this. So, I also, I'm gonna catch you real quick here because I'm gonna start getting squirrel sidetracked by the cool stuff that I, I have. Um, we have a second YouTube channel. Um, there's nothing on it at the point of publishing this video. There will be nothing on it. Uh, we're just getting the social medias lined up for the new business and it's uh, just log building tools. Instagram, log building tools. Uh, YouTube, log building tools. Uh, again, no content on either one. There's a Facebook page. 
that's gonna come. So there's some tools that I wanna showcase because some things are harder to understand than others, but uh, anything real kind of business related to the tools, uh, you know, say we uh, whip out some cool accessories for the Granberg chainsaw mills and a couple of them big bars or whatever the case might be. I'm debating. You let me know in the comments. We just lump her all in one. Spruce Stomper just gives her one content, one place. Or do we uh, we upload a bit of stuff to the a second channel? I'm thinking how to's. There's a couple of tools that we got. You know, you get into the details of them that a guy wants to know how to um, assemble them or uh, how to set them up or what they're for. Space pens. Blue and uh -oh. blue and whatever color that is, red. Blue and red. If you don't know what a Fisher Space Pen is, well, at some point, Spruce Stop are going to teach it because, oh man, there's no tool that I don't find interesting. I love them all. So we're going to keep them kind of hmm, in one place, maybe mixed up. There's some, like I said, some tools that uh, I think it'd be cool to get into the details of the how-to and assembly. Maybe we have some guests on the channel and then we'll just see where it fits, right? Um, I'm not going to duplicate content, I don't think. It uh, doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem like very much fun either. But uh, being that we got such an awesome crowd of people that were uh, gracious enough to continue to view and watch the, uh, the Spruce Stomper YouTube channel, well, then why not run with that? I've rattled on a long time. Let's look at something else real cool real quick. I don't want to lose your attention span. I don't know what it is about uh so i got i got chainsaw bars i got chainsaw chain of all variety we got chainsaw files we got all sorts of chainsaw sharpeners we got tools for making chain but all kinds of stuff all i don't have is the chainsaw itself because that's the part that breaks down and involves warranty so that's not as much fun but i mean a chainsaw bar never gets old look at this come on how flashy is that that thing is beautiful well, of course, the phone's got to ring. Man, I'll tell you, I'm just going to take a brief... Well, we're my phone rang. My phone rings all the time. I spend my whole life on the phone now. But um, that was my wife asking if she could put my leftovers in the oven to heat them up for lunch. None of this would have been possible without the help of my team. So I ordered... Sometimes they come with the tip off. It depends what kind of, you know, what kind of mood I'm feeling. This is a 24-inch Canon Super Bar light beautiful now this isn't no laminated run-of-the-mill bar this is the real deal the finest chainsaw bar the world has to offer precision ground flame hardened rails and light why well the center's milled out it's got a nice lightweight insert put in there uh gorgeous so like you know what i mean like i'll tell you you could just stand here and just be enamored with it I did get a couple times a real talking to, eh, from, uh, <laughs> I gotta remember that I'm, I have to let these tools go because you get some stuff and some things you don't have a ton of, right? You can't just have them and, and be like, you know what? I'm going to keep these. Like this is a hand forged chair maker scorp. Okay. It's beautiful. It's an absolutely beautiful tool. Look at, look at the tooling marks. Like somebody made this hand forged by hand but at the moment i only got one left and so somebody's gonna order that thing and i'm gonna have to man, have a real tough conversation with spruce armor go these are for the people they're not they're not for keeping isn't that how it goes it quickly turns into a collection but uh anyways like i said the people that they usually go to are uh fab. they're just fantastic look at this Look at this little fella. I, it's going to a customer, it's already got a chain made up for it, but look at that. Like there's my hand, okay? That's an eight inch chainsaw bar, eight inches long. The dime tip, the dime tip. We'll get into more of that later. Like, you know, some people will be familiar, but that's a dime tip carving bar. Is that not like, in contrast here, look at this bar. If we started here, do, 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 do. Insane. That one doesn't have a tip on it yet. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. So, uh, anyways, that's somebody already bought that one. But uh, 
Yeah, I hope it's coming across the excitement of this for me. It's uh, so we buckled into it and uh, I know there's a lot of folks, we've had a little bit of entrepreneur content on the Spruce Domper channel as we go. I'm gonna incorporate that as well. The amount of work that goes into something like this, uh, anybody that's been involved with inventory um, and stuff like that in the past, it, uh, it w sidetracked. It was, a, it was quite an undertaking because we had to, one, physically count everything, go through it, inventory it, match it, and then we had to set up our own system. Like, how do we want to roll with all this stuff? Because uh, the way that it was done before, as you can imagine, 30 years ago, well, there wasn't access to the stuff that we would have access to now. Um, it was all pen and paper, and absolutely phenomenal job, too. Like. It just made us think and have to do things. Um, There's a log scraper in this case, a real nice one. Made us think how we want to set it up, how we want to run it. And then of course, the main reason being that we uh, didn't discuss any of this endeavor, because of course, once it was set up and we moved everything, we, we rock and roll. There was, there was not, and I'm proud to say this, there was not a single day that there was a transition of, of business where the business stopped. We, uh, let's just sit down here with the screws for a second. If you're curious, screws from two and a half inches long to 16 inches long, all structurally rated. Take that Home Depot. We didn't have a single down day and uh, how we accomplished that was uh, just, just rolling with it. I mean, I've even worked for other businesses where if they change their business model or they bought another company out or something like that, there'll be an interruption for days or however long they feel it is to take and get it ready to go. And uh, we just didn't want to let people down. So from day one, uh, March 1st, we just, you know, things swapped and it was interesting because we were still moving inventory. You know, there were days where I would do construction and we still are, this hasn't changed. Um, kind of, you know, I know it's a broken record. Every YouTuber, well, this is the reason I just haven't produced any content. Auger bits, auger bits, seven and a half inches all the way to 40 inch and actually coming soon, 60 inch long auger bit. That's a four foot auger extension, a four foot drill extension. Come on. I mean, I'll tell you, why wouldn't you want one of those? There were days where I would work construction all day, move inventory and package orders at night and there was like, there'd be inventory at the old shop, there was inventory in the new shop, there was stuff in the back seat of the truck, there was stuff in the garage, and we were just, we we're just giving her with big smiles on our faces, because I mean, people were just so understanding and, and cooperative with us as we, we kind of got things dialed, and uh, we have the, had mentorship from the previous owner, which we we're grateful for, so, uh, you know, that, that kind of stuff was, was nice. So that's, that's kind of what we did. We, we just charged at it and now it's starting to, you know, flow, but, uh, circling back to the biggest reason why, uh, we didn't share, um, because of course, I mean, we, we'd love to promote this as much as possible because, uh, uh, well, not because yes, the tools, I mean, people always think in business related terms, that's, you know, you'd want to promote the business to move more product, but on a personal level, and the more I talk to people in the trade of building with logs and timber and all the other, man, I'll tell you, the unique, the unique things that people are up to in this country of Canada would just blow you away. It made me want to keep promoting it for a different reason and that was to keep tools that may not be available in a lot of other places available to the people that do want them and that's kind of the the way the business was run previously there are tons of folks that mentor apprentice uh, put on courses uh, log building and timber framing courses and you wouldn't believe the demand for this sort of thing I mean these courses are sold out well in advance um, you don't drive through uh, a town 
you know you wouldn't you wouldn't drive through any city in Canada and just see dozens of homes made out of log and timber or or somebody chainsaw milling in their front yard but in the back roads in the back country and the tucked away gems of every corner of this great chunk of land are people that are doing that sort of thing so that's why we want to promote it it uh, needed one a new website I am not a webmaster uh, but I did participate to the best of my ability and uh, logbuildingtools.ca so uh, that's the way she goes that's the way she goes I think I think I'm gonna chop it off there I had I had other means of doing stuff I thought man I gotta change the tip on a chainsaw bar and I got a sculpting slick that I gotta make and I got a whole ton of stuff there's always stuff to work on now um, but the camera's back in hand. The construction projects and adventure are still there. And uh, I mean, well, we're self-employed, so I still run around like a cowboy. Uh, just hopefully a little bit more time to stick the YouTube portion of it back in. And uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll, we'll see where we get to. So, oh man, I'll tell you, it feels good to just get that out there and say, hey, this is what we've been doing. This is where we're at. So, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll just leave it there. We'll just get rolling and we'll talk about shake froze and broad axes and uh, peeling spuds and adzes. And uh, you, you just, you, I, I, got, I got projects planned from now until, well, I, I'm actually going to have to continue on in the next life, I think. I, I, it won't get them all done now. Guys just got to keep giving her. I think I'm going to put the sawmill away though. That, a little bit of a heavy heart on that one, but uh, well, guy's got to do what he's got to do to make a living, right? So as always, I appreciate you watching and uh, I don't know what the next adventure is going to be. I just know there's going to be one. Take care.